I'm usually a confident guy, but I'm a little bit nervous about going on my first blind date. The last time I've been on a date, it's been a couple years. I hope she can look past my facial difference. Hey, how you doing? How old are you? I'm 21. 21? Yeah. 27. Okay. Getting ready for a blind date. So, picked out my three favorite shirts and gonna figure out which one is best. I'm not feeling it. The last time I've been on a date, it's been a couple years. So, definitely got some nerves. I like this one. My name is Justin Stewart. I live in Harlem, New York, and I'm a model and a content creator. Today I'm going on my first blind date. I would say the kind of person that I'm looking for is just somebody that is relatable, can have good conversations. Keys. I'd say it didn't hit me until I got here. The nerves are starting to kick in a little bit, so. I'm 27 years old. I live in New Jersey. All I know is that my date has got a facial difference. He's younger than I am, which is kind of interesting. Hey, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I'm Justin. Nana. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet how you, too. I'm good. Can I'm I get good. your chin? Thank you. Your first blind date? First blind date. Is this your first one? <laughs> this is my first one, okay, too. Okay, so my it's new for both too. of us. So. So Ooh. we're in it together, huh? we're in we're it. We're in it together right. for sure. There's so tell wrong. me about yourself. So, so what brings you to New York? Work. Um, what do you do? I'm a model. So I started modeling about two years ago when I graduated from college. Got scouted by an agency and I've been there ever since. It just started with me sharing my story on social media. And I just try my best to use my platform to be an advocate for people around the world that have the same condition as me and just try to educate them and just to spread some positivity and light. It's a lot of fun, uh, especially, you know, when you have fun doing something that you love to do, it doesn't really feel like work. And I feel like that's why I work so much. No, that's good. So, I like your confidence. I appreciate that. What would you say your biggest challenge has been? I'd say it's just being confident in myself. Mm -hmm. My mental health has been mental. a very big accomplishment. Was it hard during, like, when COVID was at its peak, like, in quarantine and stuff? Oh my god, yes. Yeah. Yes. We were just stuck in the crib. We were I all stuck it. in the house. I was losing I, it. I, I, I guess I would say I got lucky. I was with family. But I think with my parents having like four grown kids in the house, it's like... Four. Wait, wait, wait. they got four, so, yeah, so um, you're the... I have a twin brother. Um, really? Yeah, his oh, name is so Jordan. Cool. Growing up with a twin brother that didn't have the same condition as me, it was pretty much fine. Um, in my household, everybody was raised the same. Everybody was treated the same. The name of my condition is, is cleft or frontal nasal dysplasia. Frontal nasal dysplasia uh, affects people in, in different ways, but it's mostly uh, wider eyes, broader nose, the formation of the nose at birth. Wait, and you are, how old are you? I'm 21. 21, yeah. I'm 27. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Interesting. okay. Take a sip, take a sip, okay. Um, With the age difference, like, What's your like perspective of you on like dating someone older or younger than you? Uh, I, honestly, I think it all comes down to, I would just say morals and values. Um, and if you click with the person, you click with the person. That's that's true. Oh, thank you. I think I might try that. So. You think I'm drinking food? I'm thinking about a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going really well. I think Nana has a beautiful smile. I love how the conversation is flowing really well, like it's effortless. I don't think she had any reactions towards my facial difference. Back. Welcome back. Yeah. <laughs> so, how would you describe like your dating experience or your dating history so far in terms of like your your issue as well? My condition definitely affected my confidence growing up. I guess as I got older, my confidence rose and things got better. I say my dating life has been pretty good. I just surround my people that want to be surrounded by me. I think that comes down to knowing your worth too, because I feel like when you don't... You just allow anyone yeah. to treat you anyhow because you don't really know what your worth is, mm -hmm. so I agree with that. Just that genuine connection, because again, like, you yes. don't... We don't have to be extremely, extremely similar for us to just mm -hmm. connect and vibe on a different level. I would be impressed by my blind date if she, if she actually took an interest in, in basketball or anything like that. I think that would be pretty cool. So when you were in school, did you play basketball? Basketball, to be honest, I think I only started gaining interest in the sport when I moved here. Mm -hmm. I'd say one of like the top five things mm -hmm. I want to do this year is go okay. to a basketball game. I think it's because you want to go to a game. I think we can make that happen. 
Well, I had a wonderful time. I did too. It was great meeting you. It was lovely meeting and you too. And hopefully this isn't the last time. That was really lovely meeting you. You, you too. take care. I think the date went very well. Um, he's interesting, he's funny, very good conversation overall. I think we related on a lot of topics as well. His special difference didn't change anything, to be honest. Do you think you'll meet up again? I definitely do think we'll meet up again. I would definitely want to go on another date with Justin. I think the date went really well. Well, I don't think Nana really had a reaction to my facial difference, which is good. Um, I think she just saw me for me and I, that's all I really care about. I think that this experience has taught me to kind of learn how to step out of my comfort zone again. It's been a long time, so 